Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shaq's Conquest, episode 114, Invincible Vengeance, part two. And then anyone with the active bleeds all stick into the robo. All right, so Jack dropped due to chest. Now his check's negative 54. The reason why I'm not worried so much about chest is we all have unholy plate armor, so our chests are much better protected than our arms and legs. Our, our legs are pretty well protected. Our arms are not well protected, really, at all. So that's why I'm... I'm more... Oh, there we go. That's another fiver. That's another fiver. That's why I'm willing at, like, negative 20 to risk someone that has chest injuries, but not arm injuries. Because they could do 100 plus to an arm where they cannot do 100 plus to a chest. It's yeah. just not a likely hit to, to receive. So, oh, and another fiver. Oh, they're dropping. There's only one fiver left. And then the rest are just standard 100 guardian. So the last fiver is, um, oh God, look at this battlefield. Jesus. Tilk, you should leave. You two keep moving. They're walking at like one mile an hour. So last fiver, last I checked was over by Ruka. Um, where'd, she, where'd it go? No? No? <laughs> Hang on. I'll find him in a second. Kizo, attack time. Is it this one? Nope. Is he down? He must be down somewhere. Scanning. Scanning. I mean, they were here. Are they in this pile? I don't, uh... I don't see anyone. No one's standing out. Because I really don't want a 5 Invincible to go down and then get back up. That's, like, bad news. Check the base. Oh, they wouldn't have run into the base. They're all engaged out there. I think. Famous last words, I suppose. So the war leader is a hundred guardian, which is odd. God, where are they? Well, I guess we fight them until they all drop. Doesn't really change the strategy. Kang, you still fight left in you. Shona, you do not. Trustin. You know you can stand up, Trustin. Like, your legs are not injured. They haven't been touched. <laughs> He's crawling around. Quit staying low. There you go. <laughs> he was staying low, but like, for no good reason. Here, go help uh, Gizo. God, did, uh, you know what he could have happened? He could have been mortally injured and just like ran for it. Let me do a quick frag. I don't know. Let me do one more check. So we have one, two. One frag axe, two frag axes. Three frag axes. Um, obviously by Ruka there was four. Where's that other frag axe? God, it gets messy. I don't even know. I will just, uh, I'll just keep slaying until they stop moving. Oh, 
Oh. Caravan boss. They are dropping fast, too. Looking for those that need to be stripped. I don't believe anyone in this group has limb loss risk. Rain maybe the most. I'll have rain back up. No, there's no red dots running away. I mean, that's the thing about the shack most of the time, is they stay, they fight. It's pretty honorable. Uh, Glitch, you could fight. And they've been defeated. Ain't so invincible now, are ya? Wow. That's what we're talking about. Alright, I know that they're going to cause some more problems. But let's quickly... Check to make sure we have all life and limb. This is the end of the fight. So if I lose a leg after this, it's post-fight now. We, uh, we defeated them. Officially. All limbs, all lives. <laughs> nice. Ha, oh, nice. Damn. That's a uh, That's some heavy lift right there. There's still a whole lot of them yet to be stripped. Which could cause us problems. So even though I've won this battle, there is more battle to be had. There's, you know, they'll get back up, and they'll uh, they'll mess with me. So um, I need to ensure that they do not. So the few that are healthy-ish left in the group, I'm gonna do a quick strip because I think that's probably a better use of my time than um, trying to get everyone recovered. Some very close calls, yes. Some very, very close calls. I've been obviously very delicate. You know, anytime I see an armor or lay low HP, I just get them out. I don't know where that last uh, fiver was. Perhaps I'll find their body soon. I don't even see too many left that need stripping. The other thing that I could do is I could bring all but, um, and I think this is what I will do. Mike, McNower, Sharp Point, and Case are all going to come down here. Oh, what the heck? I found him! Here he is! Hey, headshot. Get shooting. In the base, yeah. So you're right, in the base, but like, not behind the base, just on my walls. Uh, Ruka, no, actually, Ruka, oh, there, oop, bye-bye. Noity noit. Five out of five. Would survive. Ching. I knew I was counting, right? I was like, there's just no way I don't know how to count to five. All right, everybody that is currently up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
Go over here. Old passive. Leave the fight. Mike McNower, sharp point. Case. Actually, Case, I think you got beat up a little too. Yeah. So, Case, uh, you were going to leave the fight as well. So, the gunners, except for Headshot, who's staying on the big guns up top, are coming to help clean up and keep them from messing with me. Like, sharp point here. So that I can... <laughs> I like how he's up. <laughs> After all of that giant siege, he's like, I have wares for you. I mean, my leg is holding on by a few ligaments, but, um, you know. You crazy little hivers. Half of you are unconscious on the ground. And you're just like, oh, you want you want a trade? In fact, taking a look at them, uh, most most of these hivers are um, are already patched up, just not splinted, because they've been healing themselves throughout the entire fight. I wish uh, I wish Sharp Point had a bigger bag. Yeah, can I interest you in a uh, <laughs> a bunch of planks and frag axes? Because uh, I got that in spades. <sighs> Bonk. So, sharp point. Pick up. McNower. Pick up. And Mike, the heck are you doing? Oh, is there someone, like, behind my walls? No, you're going to med people. Uh, let's take medic off of you for now. I know that seems weird. Heal quick, because there's another hunt squad coming our way. I guess I really didn't need to, to plan much more stuff, because uh, the Sheck got me covered. They're going to keep me busy. Oh my god. Kang, you have very little of your body left. Best in the land. Uh, Mike, let's give him something to sell. Sanjir, thanks for the gifted subs. Thanks for the love, buddy. I hope I didn't cost you any, uh, any channel points in my survival. <laughs> Yeah, they can't afford much. And now I've just dismissed them. But honestly, dismissing them is going to make it easier for me to clean up. Because it's... It's a bit messy. The other thing I had to do is... Um, this 5 Invincible... Uh, I should probably carry outside of the base. Because I don't really want him... Larkin, you know? He could pose... Well, as naked, probably not going to pose a threat. Alright, Cowley and Rain. Then Turda. The ones that um that first were uh rescued are like probably nearing full health at this point. Well, that's a lie. We got <laughs> we got smushed. Pretty hard smush. But I much prefer to be an underdog. So, McNower, you can, um... I'm gonna put McNower on medicking. And sharp point. You'll come out and stand vigil. Did they not heal their Garu? Oh, no, they did.
That was metal. <laughs> that was so metal. All right, I guess Sharp Point wants to go medic too. That's fine. Poetic, you ought to be in a proper bed, because that's not going to heal you. Imagine being uh, Asada and being like, oh, dang. Because I'm sure she heard the screaming and the clashes and uh, all of that stuff. And then we're all alive. And she's like, I know what happened. Would the garlic heal better on a bed? Yeah, but I can't, like, do that because that would be kidnapping. Which is uh, kind of a problem. You can't just go kidnapping people. Do you want to try to pretend to help? And hear them running. The remnants of their raid. Trying to leave. Headshot is um, is making sure that they they leave with extra reminders. Let's call it. Uh, so McNower, you are done medicking, so come out here and help. The sharp point looks like you're done as well. Come on and help. And then Mike is out front. Meaning that everybody is now healing. Yep. Everybody's healing. No, oh, no, there's there's still some uninjured, or rather, injured people. So I'll send McNower back to do medic. So let's take a look at the timer here. I have three days for the enemy hunt. Let me take the red off, because I'm not really in endangered anymore. And I will... I, I want to I wanna fight the, the hunt. It's obviously not going to be as extreme as this. Nope. I will also... As soon as people are healed up, uh, take the opportunity to to feed a big thing, or to maybe duel if I could manage it. I'll try it one more time, but last time I tried it was um, frustrating. Oh, that was hilarious! This hunter guardian screams, "The warrior returns!" and then gets tapped in the head with a bolt. Yeah, returns to the afterlife. Come on, headshot. You can do it. I'm not sure who got that, but I'll credit headshot. It's probably most likely. Holy cow. And to think, not a single one of them is me. I really do like this uh, horseshoe method of fighting. I mean, I know I've described it before, but like, I, I see a lot of Kenshi players hide behind their walls, and then what ends up happening is the raid quickly and easily breaches the gate, and then all of a sudden your harpoons or or mounted crossbows or whatever you have are ineffective almost immediately. Whereas if you fight outside like I have, they stay effective throughout the entire fight. Raining, I mean, obviously you, you do risk friendly fire, but um, I don't know. <laughs> Hasn't hurt me yet. I'm alive. You hold it? What, what are you yelling orders at me now? You big lump of nothing. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty effective. I mean, I've set up gates that are better. I'm not gonna lie. You can set up gates that are, like, totally ridiculously meta, where raiders have to swim to your gate to get to your base, and, you know, while they swim, they're obviously getting rained and pelted by, um, by a hail of crossbow bolts and, and whatnot. I mean, that that's actually really easy to set up. But I also feel like that is a super deep ex exploit of the game, and I refuse to build a base like that, because it's too cheese.
So I'll just fast forward time and try to recover as much as I can. Well, whatever happened to this one? Huh. I don't know. He... Ran out. Maybe got got by, uh... By our angel in the sky. Maybe not. I don't really care if they run off. I'm just here to make sure they don't cause more trouble. But if they want to run away, that's totally fine by me. I'm always surprised by how slow the skeletal repair beds actually repair broken limbs. Robotic limbs. Takes a very long time. But most of our raid party is almost at 100%. And we still have three days, nine hours. I don't know if I'm going to be... Well, we'll see. If I play enough on times three speed, maybe we get that last raid in. What did he say? Let him rot in the sands? <laughs> Any casualties? No. Sharp point, you are alive. You did quite well. I have no idea why you didn't have a weapon on you. Let's ignore the fact that I uh, somehow managed to strip you of your own weapon. Oh, in case two? What is going on here? Where did my weapons go? Oh, maybe Case's weapon is Guardless Katana. Let me double check. No, oh, it is Guardless Katana. Okay. Well, I didn't screw that up. While I'm thinking of that, let me go through everybody and make sure everybody actually has the weapon that they're supposed to have, because... You know, I'm... Did I fight that whole time with Larry with no pants? Probably. That sounds like me. Typical Larry. So Glitch is missing two of his Wakasashis. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because dual wielding is imaginary. So not much of a problem. <laughs> there was a black and chainmail shirt here just waiting. Hello. There you go, Glitch. I had no idea that there was a masterwork weapon just sitting there. Um, yeah, okay, no one's missing weapons. Cool. I am extraordinarily low on food. So, although Rockfin's not 100%, He's got to go do food errands for me. So I'm going to take this large backpack and go buy some food. Because otherwise, we'll have some problems. taking the opportunity to try to clean up some of this uh, mess over here. Right, that is a lot of stuff. Moving at 16 miles an hour now. Hey, hundo. Coming to get you. <laughs> I'm a little evil. Uh, the other thing I'd like to see at some point um, is for the state changes of everything. Because now that their leaders are not free, the state changes that should trigger for the Shek Kingdom should have gone into effect. So 
Uh, I will do a, a quick food run and then check for state changes as well. That, that interests me. Hey, Bay. Thanks for, uh, thanks for top stopping in to say hello. You'll have all the time in the world to catch up, because this is the last stream of this ever. They have one bolt long. Oof. They do have food, though. Quite a lot of food. Did I say what the next campaign will be? Uh, yeah, it will be a robotic one. Not a lot more details than that. I've, not that I've put out, but that's sort of the synopsis. Taking a look at skeletons. Oh my lord. Still no better arms for our recent amputees, unfortunately. And let me get this food home before people mass starve. And then I'll go check state change as well. We wait for the last raid. I had some fancy plans, uh, but given how quickly I got raided, I just don't think I'm going to do any of those fancy plans. I can tell you what they are at the end, I suppose. What I didn't manage to do. here. The wall? I guess? Alright, so we put everything away. I'm gonna load up with a little bit more loot, and then we'll go take a look at some state changes. Should I have five, five frag axes? Why do I only count four? Oh my god, I'm so encumbered. Well, here. Extra encumbered. Um. Alright, maybe not take frag axes. I don't want to be running forever. I'll just take what I have on me. So we're going to go run out to Squin first. And I'm going to bring my guardsmen that were out there inside just to reduce uh, food food needs. I find it adorable that they keep shouting at me. Headshot still has plenty of food up here. She's got uh, food cubes and fish. So... It's fine to have her just sit out here and, well, be as sadistic as she is, right? If you're wondering, Headshot's personality is a sadist. She, like, enjoys killing people. So it's it's in her personality to just, like, murder the ones trying to crawl, crawl away from uh, battle. She's got a little bit of bloodlust is what I'm trying to say. I don't fault her for it. I just feed her kills. So how are we all doing, health-wise? 
Uh, Night Knave has an arm that needs repair. In fact, you have an arm. You have need of a lifter arm, I think. Oh, I hate when this happens. Come on, building. Yeah, I think Night Knave's arm was the only, uh... Yep. We're 100% other than Rockfin's left leg and Night Knave's arm, and Rockfin's already on the run. So if I recall correctly, just not being free is enough to trigger state changes. Which means the fact that, um... That Asada the Stone Golem, her daughter, are both locked up in cages in my base should trigger the state changes in the Shek Kingdom because the Shek Kingdom should effectively be no more. I don't believe it would show in this screen, though. But it should show uh, once I get towards Squin. Although it still says it's owned by Shek. Maybe I have to kill them. Well, there sure are a lot of Shek on the gate. Now let me run through town. Streak through town. Hi, town! Bye, town. I don't know. That was odd. I guess we'll, uh, we'll make an effort to kill them in a minute. So speedy, not quite like a hybrid with double scouts, but pretty fast. Way faster than any of the Shek are. Try to save and load? Yeah, I could do that. That usually fixes things. Generally speaking, just like... Exiting and returning is enough, but perhaps not today. Nice. I sold everything I wanted to sell. Sweet. Alright, let me try a quick save and load. See if that works. And while you wait patiently, I'll give you... Well, that didn't take very long. I'll give you Yoda and the carrots. Did I learn anything new about this game in this playthrough? Uh... Little things. Like... That Voltana can attend the... The Mega Raids. I didn't realize that Voltana would attend the Mega Raids. Um, when you capture Seto. I didn't know that he could be part of the um, Wrath of God. Or Retribution of God. Because I've had Retribution and Wrath of God raids in the past. But it was never led by a dipl diplomatic status leader. So that was... That was new to me. That might actually be the only thing I le learned. Just because I have a lot of time logged in Kenshi, so not much surprises me anymore. Yeah, this is still... Uh, yeah, this is still owned by, uh, by the Shack. Let me head out to AdMag real quick. And um, see if AdMag's any different. Oh, did I sell, sell my own pants? I did, didn't I? Um, cool. That's super cool. Hey, Kimo. Could I trouble you for some pants? I should not be trusted with, uh, with my own gear. And turd, I'm gonna wake you up to. And Shona. Where are you, Shona? What I really ought to have done, which I don't do, which is to my own detriment, is to keep everybody in the same order. It would make my life a little, a little easier. So I stare at them all day long, and I don't see them. There we go. Now my armor smiths are making me some spare panties. 
Okay, add Mad Deep Flip. It's now owned by Berserkers, which is very strange. I don't know why Squin hasn't flipped. It's strange that the ad mag's owned by Berserkers because last I checked, I killed the Berserker leader. But that means the state changes have triggered, and for whatever reason, um, Squin's state change is just bugged out or something. I don't know. Also, yeah, so Fangface, you're right, that my, uh, that leaders can die off screen. That happened with, um, that happened with your ninja sword, with Dimak. Or Boozin. Boozin? Dim no, Dimak. Dimak's the one with the blade. Oh, here seems to be, are you, no, they're Kamikaze. Okay. I don't know why I ran to New Kralia, because what was I going to learn there? All right, let me, oh, Shona's under attack. How? By whom? What? Oh, hello. Got some visitors. Hey, Headshot, you're shooting them? I don't want to import a save because that screws up more than it fixes, in my opinion. So, won't be doing that. Because importing a save then refreshes all of the... Um all of merchant data and everything, giving you, like, infinite, uh... Giving you infinite books and things like that. Just... You know. Not something that you I want to have happened. So, for those that don't know, there are ancient science books that you can buy from, um... Flats Lagoon, World's End, and Scrap House, and when you import a save, those books just come back. Alright, those idiots are all dead. And then another another unintended consequence of an imported save is um, if, if, like in this series, where it's a challenge trying to recruit people, because there's a finite amount of Shek in the world, it replaces every single shack that's in every single bar that was not unique. Which then makes it super easy to recruit who you're looking for, which is uh, another unintended and unfortunate side effect of uh, imported saves. I wish the imported saves just, like, fixed things without changing more than it changes, but obviously that's just not the case. Who was the hardest challenge this run? Who was the scariest to fight? Asada's the scariest to fight. I would say. Uh, Phoenix... I don't know. Phoenix and Asada going toe-to-toe. -to -toe, I actually don't know who would win. But the Frag Axe does a lot more splash, so you have to do a lot more micro to not get annihilated by it. So I don't know who would win in a one-on-one, -on -one because the Frag Axe is really a group weapon. So in terms of like the strongest weapons in the game, I would say the Frag Axe for groups is strongest, but the Falling Sun, which is not a weapon that I currently have, not the Mato one at least, is probably one-on-one -on -one the hardest, the hits the hardest, but the but the Frag Axe, when you're swinging around in groups, is probably bar to none, if you have the strength for it, obviously, because I don't. Asada does have a higher limb stat. That's true. Um, but she also doesn't wear a helmet and doesn't wear chest armor. She wears black and chainmail. But but uh, she... Her high HP is offset by the fact that she decides that armor is not cool. A lot of the Shek don't even wear helmets. I uh, I really can't tell you why. Okay, Rockfin, you seem stuck. Yeah, if you get a few lucky shots on, on Asada's head, you could render her unconscious pretty pretty quickly. I did not get lucky like that, which is probably a good thing, because I would not have enjoyed the fight if she just got donked real quick by, like, the Eagle's Cross. Dude, can you move? Can I load? Holy heck. 
Operation Infinite Load. Alright, Rockfin, are you moving again? No. What is your issue? Don't tell me I have to send someone out here to, like, handhold. There we go. Nope. I think this part of the pathing is bugged, if I recall. Oh, wow, I can't even click. Oh, my lord. What did do? Where are you now? I am as confused about this as oh, there I am. New superpower learned. Phase. Yeah, I am the swamp ghost. You are right about that. Alright, well, there's my pants. So that's good. Oh, did they break my gate? No, I just opened it for, uh... For Rockfin. Well, I think the last fight is going to be this uh, enemy hunt, but it's going to be a little late. It's taken a little while to trigger the enemy hunt. I also think that chemo... Nope, chemo's good. Look for a second like chemo was hurt. Standard? I have power to my lights. How did how on earth did Kimo make standard? In what universe does that make any sense? Armor quality specialist. What is <laughs> I don't know. Uh he just trolls me. I'm just gonna rack it up to I got trolled. Uh, Alright, so here's some specialist pants that we'll have to do. So, what I was planning on doing, I don't have enough time for. What I was planning on doing is going to Bugmaster, because Bugmaster is the arch rival of the, the Shek. And taking out Asada and Bugmaster would be kind of like a, not only am I stronger than you, but I killed your arch rival. I just don't have the time for it. So what I'm going to try to do is bring um, Asada out here and, and kill her, if she will agree to stand up. Obviously she's unarmed. Okay, let me ditch my bag. Oh, who are you? Hungry bandits. Alright, you know what? If you don't stand up, I'll feed you to big things. You'll get up then, I'm sure. I just need to make... Oh, well, this big thing's just gonna die then. <laughs> Whoa! He says. Here she goes. So there's some hungry bandits that we're fighting. Ah. Yeah, she is, uh, she's not small. She has a strength of, um, 96 or something? 94? She doesn't know martial arts, though. 
And Poetic here does. Tonk. Where is the nearest big thing? Hey, big thing, how hurt are you? You're pretty hurt. Do I not? Oh, I, I dished my backpack. Yeah, that, that might make it hard to do first aid. I don't care about that big bag anymore. I don't really need it. Flying me to the head. Yeah, that was a pretty brutal takedown. No, go away. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Really? You didn't learn? I'm doing something over here. Don't you interrupt. You know what I might do to her? If you want to play dead, I'm going to melt you in acid. Let's go over and hope that it's raining in the, uh, in the burning forest. And just watch her melt as she plays dead. And of course, it's not going to rain, like, ever. And I don't believe the standing bodies of water melt you. Just, just the rain. Fine. Uh, alternative plan. Let's go to the Deadlands. And the king... Have you grab the daughter, and you come out to the Deadlands with me. Um, okay, yeah, put the plank away. Alright, rendezvous right here, in the E of the Deadlands. We got time. Day and 15 hours left. I'll go a little late if I have to, to finish up that Shek hunt. I'm curious how strong it is. I don't generally fight the Shek, so... I've only beaten Asada once, so this is a little uncharted for me. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shek's Conquest, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 1st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this series has since ended. If you would like to catch a different live series of mine, or just to know my YouTube schedule, Rodamont.com has my schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, and Discord has an event schedule that you can sign up for notifications. The link to both can be found in the description. I also wanted to say thank you to you viewer for sticking around for over 100 episodes. Not very many make it this far, and I really appreciate the dedication. Also, thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers for supporting the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, fellow Shaq.